to uh, Ravi Perry, who joins us from Washington, D.C. Um, great to have you on TRT World. There is so much going on, and they are still speaking uh, as, as we speak. Help us make sense of what's going on and for our international audience as well. And how does what has been said today move forward the impeachment process or not? Yes, I'm, I'm very glad to be here. Thank you so much for your question. Um, I, I think that the hearings today really set the stage for a battle that uh, historically in this country for an impeachment of a president lasts anywhere between 120 and 180 days. And it begins with the House committees, uh, as we see today with the acting DNI um, uh, director being um, at the on the hot seat today. And it begins with a whole bunch of hearings. And what this is different about this time in this country than other times where we have had impeachment in the United States is that this time it is not being led only by the House Judiciary Committee. It is also uh, being uh, investigated by five other committees, including financial services, oversight, et cetera, which is allowing a broad uh, scope to be permitted in what may become a host of articles of impeachment against President Trump. And I understand how you say it's different this time, and you mentioned uh, 180 days. Um, but, you know, does the U.S. public really have an appetite for impeachment, and do they want this? I think that's a great question. And I, the polls would indicate no, and, 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 and in the sense that impeachment indicates that there is a constitutional crisis. The framers intended impeachment to be our remedy, a cure for a elected official at a high level or a judge at a high level in the federal level that has gone run amok, so to speak. It, it, it is, we've only done this 18 or 19 times uh, in our country, and only two of those times involved presidents in which they actually were, in fact, impeached. And so it's an uphill battle. And because it is so lengthy, and because it will likely move all the way until uh, Christmas holiday season and, and up until January 2020 primary season, it really makes it an interesting um, situation for the American public, who on the one hand is constantly now being uh, uh, approached by multiple candidates on the Democratic side running for office for president in 2020, Biden now, right, being the source of the potential uh, uh, breach of power of President Trump with the president of Ukraine, it makes his candidacy that much more interesting vis-a-vis -vis the other Democratic challengers that are trying to, of course, uh, uh, beat him at, in the polls. Uh, um, particularly like Senator Warren from uh, Massachusetts, uh, perhaps. And, and so the longer that this impeachment goes on, and if history is an indication, it will take at least four to six months, then it goes closer and closer to the primary season. And that runs a risk for Democrats and that people may be so exhausted uh, that they may not turn out. All right. Interesting that you mentioned the exhaustion. Okay, Ravi Perry, thanks so much for speaking to us on CRT World. Great to get that analysis on this very important day.